Greetings everyone and welcome, this is Marco and today I want to talk about the monetary value of vintage lenses. As those who follow me on Instagram already know, a couple of weeks ago I bought two more lenses. And I was feeling a little bit guilty, you know, uh, bias, remorse, something like that. So I decided to write down all the pieces of vintage gear I bought in the last couple of years, more or less, year and a half write them down, write the prices I got them for, and finally see how much I have spent. To my surprise, not that much. I mean, this is one of the reasons why most people get into vintage lenses. Usually they are pretty damn cheap, way cheaper than uh, the modern counterparts. Yes, without uh, autofocus, auto aperture, all the stuff, but still, they're way cheaper. And yes, I know there are unicorns and rare lenses and some weird stuff that costs $10,000, but we're not talking about that today. I literally took a piece of paper, wrote down all the gear I bought and the prices. The total amount? 300 euros. And if you stop for a second and think about it, really isn't that much. In fact, the lens that is recording me right now, the Sigma 30mm 1.4, when I bought it, it costed me 330 euros for one single lens. Look at my list here, the most expensive purchase I made was for 80 euros, but it wasn't a single piece. In fact, it was four pieces, a camera, two lenses and a focal multiplier. Basically, for 20 euros a piece, I was saying 30, yes, I'm bad at math, 20 euros a piece. Not bad. And the least expensive ones I got are either trades or um, 20 to 10 euros. So again, really not bad. But the next question is, are these pieces of gear worth their price? Absolutely, yes. Even the cheapest ones, the ones that are in bad conditions or that I or you didn't like, are worth it, if nothing else, for the experience. And vintage lenses, well, depends a little bit on the part of the world you're living in, but they still have some, you know, worth, some uh, monetary value when reselling them, whether it's 10, 20, 50 euros, but it's usually the same you bought it for. And in fact, one of the reasons why I was feeling guilty is that I bought some lenses, reviewed them, and never used them again. And they're collecting dust in my cabinet where I keep all the photographical video gear and stuff. So yeah, uh, as I said, I have to start selling things. Well, actually, I've already sold one of the pieces I have here today. I just have to hand it over. And this leads me to another consideration that is cameras are not really worth that much. I, I mean, surely there are uh, some cameras, some vintage cameras that still have some uh, value that are worth even quite a lot of money, especially medium format ones or rare ones or Leicas, usual. 
but most of the times cameras are really really cheap to buy and quite hard to sell in fact i have one two three four five six seven seven different cameras and i know it will be pretty damn hard to sell them well i'm gonna sell them for like five to ten euros i don't care if i don't like them because i'm still trying them out yes i still have to uh, get through those 21 shot rolls i started last december Sure, cameras aren't worth that much, aren't really worth buying by themselves, but as I did for this one, is it the right lens? Yes, it's the right lens. Uh, I bought this camera, this Canon, because I wanted the lens and the owner wouldn't want to split them up, obviously, because cameras are hard to sell, especially by themselves without the lens. But buying it all together i got a good price i got this for let me check um 35 euros both camera and lens it's a great lens it's a canon fd 28 millimeters 2.8 that i wouldn't have got then damn english that i wouldn't have got if i uh, hadn't buy the camera too and yeah i'm gonna try to shoot this camera Sooner or later, I'm losing the train of thought here. As you can see, this whole thing wasn't planned. Uh, it, it's just to start a conversation. For me, my opinion is that yes, vintage lenses are worth their cost. Cheap ones. Expensive ones, yeah, you might have to think about it. You might have to decide if they're worth for you, if you're gonna use them, if whatever. Cheap ones, like, and for cheap, I mean from free to uh, 100 euros, 100 dollars, whatever. They are worth it. Buy them, try them out, experiment, have fun. If you don't like them, if you don't use them, sell them. As you can see, I'm pretty passionate about this thing. And again, I want to discuss this uh, with you. So if you have an opinion, if you want to share your experience, leave it in the comments below. I will be more than happy to read all the comments and uh, answer away uh, and hopefully you will uh, share some useful experience and thoughts with someone who is starting out in this whole vintage extravaganza collection where the thing that we are all in together and we all have fun with it so yeah that's it and my chair needs some oil so <laughs> that's it uh, share your experience and thoughts in the comments let's talk about it let me hear your opinions and once again have fun experiment try it's all in good fun and if you think about it you're saving quite a lot of money and once again i don't know how to end this video because this was completely improvised so, yeah, see you in the next one. No, I I'm not gonna slide this one this time. I I'm not gonna slide this time.